Hey everybody, Steve here with WordPress Website Secrets.com and welcome to video number 24 in our series of WordPress Website Secrets. Notice I'm scratching out the absolute beginner part because we are past the beginner part. Uh, if you just arrived at this video and you'd like to see how we got this far, don't hesitate to check the description in the video below and you will see 23 preceding videos on how we built this website totally from scratch and added a whole bunch of other functionality. So in today's video, we are going to hack a WordPress site. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to hack a site. Now, let me caveat that by saying hacking is illegal. And if you get caught doing it, you will go to jail. All right, so the site that we're going to hack today is my own personal website, and it's sitting on a virtual machine. And here is what the website looks like. And as you can see by the URL, it is just sitting on a local web server on a virtual machine. So this is the site, this is a WordPress site, and this is the site that we're going to hack. So the URL of the site is the IP address followed by WordPress. That's where this is sitting. So what we're looking at right here is the target site. If you don't understand this part, don't worry about it. The important part here is that the target site has an IP of 192.168.0.18. And as you notice up here in the URL bar, 192.168.0.18. And here is my attacker computer. And here you can see that the IP address is dot 19. So the dot 19 computer is going to be attacking the dot 18 computer. And here is what it's going to look like. So what this is doing right now is it's giving me a readout of all the interesting information about that particular WordPress site. And as you can also see, it has already started brute forcing the admin password. And brute forcing means basically it's just going to the admin screen, the wp-admin or wp-login screen, and it's just trying one password after another, after another, after another. And as you can see, it's going from a database of 1.4 million possible passwords. So that's going to run for a while, but as it's running, let's also take a look at what other information that we're getting here. All right, so it's scanning this URL. The readme file is exposing the version number of our WordPress, and it can tell all sorts of interesting information about our WordPress install, including the theme, the latest version, and it's enumerating plugins, found four plugins, Look at our target has contact form version 3.0 and look, the latest version is 4.9. So that is way, way out of date. And as you can see, these red ones are showing actual vulnerabilities. And if we were to click on these links, we get a whole bunch more information about how to exploit that particular vulnerability. So let's come back down here and see how we're doing with our brute four. Oh no, look at that. Okay, so check this out. The username here was admin and the password was password 69. Now, easy enough to guess, but it only had to go through 7,000 out of 1.4 million possibilities. So if you think that your kid's name with the year that they were born or your name with the year you were born, any any imaginable name and any imaginable dictionary word is actually in this 1.4 million list. So now let's see what happens if we go to the typical login page on our attacking machine and use the credentials we just discovered. Password 69. Boom we're in. We have full access to the back end of this website. So what are the lessons learned here? Lessons learned number one is if your username is admin, make sure to go to users, go to all users and see admin right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new username. So go to add new. You want to create a, a new username and you want to set that role to administrator 
And once that's done, you're going to want to test the login to make sure that you can get in okay. And once you get back in, you're going to want to come back here and you're going to want to delete this admin account. That is number one. Number two. So what you're looking at now is that list of 1.4 million passwords and you can see how fast the software can brute force those passwords. And if you can catch a quick look of any of those words, it basically uses just about every dictionary word that you can think of and then adds zeros and ones and other possible combinations to it. So anyhow, I'm Steve with WordPress website secrets.com and I hope that you found this enlightening. I hope that it'll cause you to get rid of that uh, admin login if you're using it and also get you to use strong passwords. Use a passphrase instead of a password and have uppercase, lowercase, special characters and something that could not possibly be by guessed by a dictionary. Because as you can tell, people are not trying to just go to your website and manually enter this information. They're using automated tools and with enough equipment they could potentially guess tens if not hundreds of thousands of passwords per minute. What you saw earlier was the processing power of one small laptop. You can imagine the processing power that these guys could use if they had servers at their disposal. So anyhow, I'm Steve with uh, WordPress website secrets.com. Hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to share, like, comment, and I hope to see you in the next video.